I have no idea how to start a video. So here are two turtles fucking. I really need to get an intro. Hello guys, welcome back to my weekly... Uh, you know what? I actually did try to put out content, but, you know, things happen. Like life! My intros turned into comedy sketches more than actual intros that explain shit to the viewer. God damn it. I don't think that I need to explain shit, I mean it's r really straightforward. I'm just taking Germany and the USSR and letting them fight one on one. So let's start the video then. So the war would start in like 1939... Fuck it, 1940. So, the war starts. Germany starts pushing into the Soviet Union due to the fact that they have air superiority and as well as their units are better equipped. Because of this, Germany pushes into modern day in Belarus and Ukraine. All the way to the Great Ukrainian Lakes. Well, they're not pronounced like that, but fuck it, I'm not gonna research up for every single one of their names. But that's where they stop. First, let me show you how much oil does Germany produce throughout the year. Give or take, they produce about 1,500 barrels of oil each and every year. Well, the Soviets, on the other hand, produce about 31,000 barrels of oil each and every year. Roughly 20 times more than Germany. The reason that Germany pushed the Soviets back so far is because, well, Germany didn't fought this war alone. It had both Hungarian and Romanian oil productions, which means they could have fueled the German war machine. Not to mention that the Soviets took control over the Baltic nations, and as well as Finland would join the war later on which leads to the Soviets having a huge front line, both in the north and in the west. As well as Germany had control over most of Europe. So let's go back to the scenario. It's the winter of 1940 and the Soviets are starting to push Germany back. It won't be easy for the Russians as well due to the fact that, well, Germany still has air superiority over them. But still, the Soviets will just slowly chip away through the German army. By the end of the year, the Soviets would push back Germany all the way back to their original borders. By this point, the Soviets would take air superiority over Germany. The Red Army would smash German defenses in Poland and would start a massive push towards Berlin. 1943 would be the bloodiest year of the war so far. Probably because Germany would feel more desperate upon stopping the Red Army's advance. Which would lead to suicidal plans being accepted. The Soviets would be split into two major front lines. The North and the South. The North's goal would be capturing Berlin, while the South's goal would probably be either Prague or Vienna, but I'll stick to Prague, due to the fact it's much closer and... fuck you. It's 1944 and Germany has been pushed back to its pre-1939 borders. And my throat fucking hurts. So let's finish this goddamn motherfucking video. They push Germany and reach Berlin by March or April, I don't know, it's alternate history, use your imagination. They win, now they push through the north, and slowly make their way to the south. 1st of February, 1945, Germany officially surrenders. The war has ended in Soviet victory. Okay, now I can take my time on these treaties. The eastern parts of Germany would be annexed and puppeted by the Soviet Union. Prussia would be released, while Poland would be annexed. The Czech Republic or Czechia would be puppeted. Austria would be a communist satellite state. And finally, it's your boy, Germany, becoming a communist state. Yeah. With the North being occupied by the Soviets. 
With this, I conclude the video. The Soviets have a huge sphere in influence in Central Europe. What's that you say? Why did the war last as long as it did in our timeline? Well, thank you for asking, nobody. You see, in our timeline, Britain and America supplied the Soviets with raw materials such as steel and copper. I don't know about copper, but you know, fuck it, I, I need to make this video a, a little bit longer. Anyways, if they did aid the Soviets this way, the war would have lasted till 1943 due to the fact that the Soviets would have much more materials to work with. And that concludes the video. Boom! I edited the video completely, I fucking uploaded it, see you fuckboys later. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Alright, I reached 500 subscribers without doing jack shit!